Hi guys, in this video, I'm going to walk you through the step-by-step -step process of installing Kali Linux in VirtualBox. Whether you are a beginner or just need a refresher, this guide will help you up and running in no time. Uh, but before we start, let's make sure your computer meets uh, these three requirements. At least 4GB of RAM, 20GB of uh, free space on your SSD or hard disk, and at least two uh, CPU cores. First thing first, we need to download a uh, Kali Linux ISO file and VirtualBox. I will provide this link in the description box. So this is the VirtualBox and this is the Kali Linux website. So in VirtualBox, scroll down and click on Windows Host and it will start downloading VirtualBox. Downloading is started. Now let's download Kali Linux IOC image. So this is the downloader page. Here, click on download button and it will download Kali Linux ISO file. Uh, so both the files are now downloaded. Uh, let's install VirtualBox first. Installation process is pretty straightforward. Uh, just uh, keep pressing next and follow the on-screen inst instruction. So uh, we have opened VirtualBox. Here click on new to create a new virtual machine. So uh, in this dialog, uh, give your machine a name. You can give any name you want. And in the type, select as Linux. And in the version, select uh, Debian 12. And this is the path where Kali Linux virtual machine will take up a space. You can change it accordingly to your preferences. And then click on next. And now uh, we need to select the base memory. Uh, base memory is nothing but the RAM. So select at least 4 GB of RAM. Uh, let me allocate uh, 4 GB. Just below the base memory, we have to select CPU cores allocation. Here select at least two cores. Uh, but if your system has more, uh, then feel free to allocate more for better performance. And then click on next. Now select a space for Kali Linux VirtualBox installation where the all files will be stored. So allocate at least 20 GB of uh, your space and I am going to allocate 30 GB for the installation. So here is the summary of the configuration. Take a moment to check all the settings, RAM, CPU cores and disk space. If everything looks good, uh, go ahead and click finish to complete the VirtualBox machine setup. Once it is finished, we need to configure some settings before installing Kali Linux. So click on the setting to open the configuration menu. Uh, now in the general tab, uh, go to advanced section and here we need to set up a uh, shared clipboard and drag and drop functionalities. Under shared clipboard, select bidirectional. This will allow you to copy and paste between your host machine and your virtual machine. And do the same for the drag and drop, select bidirectional. This setting lets you drag and drop file between your host and the virtual machine seamlessly. Once it's done, uh, go to the uh, display section and here you will see option for enable 3D acceleration. Make sure to check uh, this box. Enabling 3D acceleration can uh, help improve the graphical performance of your Kali Linux virtual machine. Once it's done, open the network setting and here you will find option to enable network adapter. Now under attached to uh, drop down menu, select bridge adapter. This setting will allow Kali Linux to access the same network as your host machine. Enabling full network connectivity and better performance. Now we have optimized the network setting, it's time to load the Kali Linux ISO file. So click on the storage tab. Uh, here under the controller ID section, you will see option labeled as empty. Click on it and now click on the small icon next to the optical drive and select choose the disk file from the drop down menu. Now navigate to the location where you saved your Kali Linux ISO file. Once the ISO file is loaded, click OK to close the uh, settings window. Your virtual machine is ready uh, to boot up from Kali Linux ISO file and start the installation process. To start virtual machine, click on start button uh, and wait for it. So our machine is powering up. For the first boot, it may take time. And then we will be greeted by the Kali Linux installer. So wait for it. A Kali Linux machine is boots up in installer. From here, select graphical install uh, using the arrow key and press enter to begin the installation process. At this point, you might see a warning about mouse integration. This warning lets you know that your mouse will not work seamlessly between your virtual machine and your host system. Don't worry, this is normal for the first setting up. You can safely dismiss this warning by uh, pressing capture. This will allow VirtualBox to capture your mouse input inside your virtual machine. If you ever need to release the mouse key back to your host system, Simply press uh, right control key on your keyboard. Now we are in the Kali Linux installer. Follow the on screen instruction to complete the setup. First select your preferred language, location and keyboard. Uh, let me select it. 
Once it's done, uh, the installer will start configuring the network setting. This might take a moment, so wait for it uh, to finish. Next, we will be prompted to enter a domain name. If you are setting this Kali Linux for personal use, you can skip this tab and proceed with the default option. After this, we need to set up full name and username. I'm going to enter Tech Jarvis as my full name and uh, Jarvis as username. Next, we need to choose password that we will use to log in your uh, Kali Linux system. Make sure to pick someone secure and then click on continue to proceed. Now it's time to configure the clock setting. The installer is gathering information related to our system's time and will ask to select time zone. Uh, so here choose your time zone accordingly. This ensures that your system is accurate based on your location. Uh, now this is the most important part. Uh, allocating the disk partition. This step determines how your disk space will be allocated for Kali Linux. Here uh, choose guided views and tire disk. This option will automatically handle disk partitioning for you. As we had allocated 30 GB for Kali Linux installation, it is showing that it will install Kali files into this. Simply click on continue. Here select all file in one partition. This option simplifies the setup by placing all your system files, user files and temporary files in single partition. Click on continue. The installation is now showing up the summary of the partition that will be created. It will create two partitions. One for the root file system and another is for our uh, swap space. Don't do anything here, just click on finish partitioning and write changes to this. And then click on continue to apply the changes. The installer will format the partition and start installing Kali Linux. The installation might take quite a while, approx 10 minutes. So please be patient, I am going to fast forward this part. Next, we need to select the desktop environment for Kali Linux. By default, XFC is selected. If you want to install Kali with the Genome desktop environment, click on the Genome and make sure to uncheck XFC. But if you prefer XFC, uh, you can leave it checked. Uh, I don't want XFC, I want to install Genome, so I select uh, Genome. Now, I also don't want to install uh, top 10 tools included by default. So let me uncheck this option. Once you have made your selection, click on continue to proceed. And guys, it is installing the software uh, in our Kali Linux. So this process might take approximately 20 minutes. So I'm going to fast forward it. Installation is now complete. Our system is restarting, so wait for it. So our system is now restarted. Here click on Kali and hit enter to boot up. First boot might take time, so be patient. Uh, the system is now boots up. Enter your password uh, and hit enter to log in. And that's it. Kali Linux is installed and ready to use. We have successfully set up Kali Linux virtual environment. And uh, we are ready to explore the powerful tool of Kali Linux offers. And guys, uh, take some time to familiarize yourself with Genome Desktop environment. You can start exploring pre-installed security tools and applications. And guys, uh, my next video will be on what to do after installing Kali Linux. So make sure to watch that video for more tips and a step to optimize uh, your setup. Maybe uh, that video already live when you are watching this video. So you can check it from here. So guys, that's it for our step-by-step -step tutorial on how to install Kali Linux in VirtualBox. Uh, so thank you for watching. If you found this tutorial helpful, give it a big thumbs up and consider subscribing to this channel. So bye-bye, I'll see you in the next one. This is Jarvis signing off. Thank you.